We continue on section 20.4, we're at the end. Last time we already talked about example 20.4.4. Uh, in that example, there's an integral, which is uh, somewhat more complicated. So we'll talk about how to evaluate that integral. Here, uh, it's actually elementary, but uh, it's also can serve as an example for doing counter integral. All right, so the integral that uh, last time we need to solve is this integral. So integrating a, in the k prime space, a, this the k minus k prime square and uh, k pi square plus one square. Okay, so that is the integral. All right, so we'll um, evaluate that. But uh, before we evaluate, we can look at the, um, the property of this the integral or whether the this integral is well well defined. Uh, we see that uh, there seems to be an, a, a singularity, k equals k prime, because in the denominator, we, if k equals k prime, the vector k equals k prime, this is uh, zero in the denominator. But actually, there's no singularity because this is a volume integral. So near k minus k prime, equals to zero close to zero the volume actually proportionally k, k pi minus k cube cubic power so the, um, it will cancel that um, that's zero in the denominator so actually it's non-zero but uh, uh, it is still better to express the integral in a form such that the integral is explicitly non-singular. So in order to do that, actually what we can do is uh, do a uh, change of variable. So we can define a new variable Q, define as K prime minus K. Okay, and so this means that uh, integrating over k prime space we can change to integrating of the q space this uh, minus sign doesn't matter uh, actually at the k prime so this is just uh, changing the uh, origin of the space so the volume element doesn't change okay so this uh, so the distance of k pi minus k square will be just q square. And this k pi square plus one will be equals to uh, q plus k square plus one. So with this one, uh, positive term, so the, the other term is explicitly non-zero. And now if we choose, uh, choose k along the z, or the z to the z coordinate direction along the k vector, then uh, this is equals to simply q square plus k square plus one plus two q dot k cosine theta. So theta is just the usual spherical uh, coordinate. And then we'll integrate the one integral in uh, spherical coordinate. And the integram now depends only on q. This term becomes q, which is the radio magnitude of the in the spherical coordinate and theta. Uh, actually, I should, 
this is not k.q, dot q. Olive oil already we evaluate k dot q. This is k times q. K q. So both k and q's are magnitude. So positive k and positive q. Those are length of the k and q vectors. Okay, so uh, so it doesn't depend on only on this theta angle, not the phi angle. So if we are doing spectral coordinate that uh, the phi integration will give you two pi, okay? And then the, as usual, we will evaluate the theta integration first. So let's write the uh, K integral mix. Uh, so you see that uh, this uh, d cube k prime with a k square d, a q square d q, a q square cancel with this, so we only have d q. Okay, oh, we have d q here. So and q is in integrate from zero to infinity, and the fader integration is sine fader d fader integrate from zero to pi. All right, and then the integram is one over q squared plus k squared plus one plus two k q cosine theta uh, square. Okay, so and so. We can do another change of variable as usual, define uh, a that equals to cosine theta. So um, that uh, this equals to two pi integrate dq zero to infinity. Now d a is on minus one to one, and this one is simply q squared plus k squared plus one plus two k q eta squared. All right, so the eta integration is uh, quite uh, straightforward. So um, it will give you the, uh, it will give you two pi Going to see you to infinity. It will, after you do the integration, you have a two kq, two um, kq out of the, uh, the integration. So two kq here, All right? And the in the integration is one over q square plus k square plus 2k q eta. Now this is evaluate at uh, minus one to one. Okay, so, so it equals to a plus one, this, this a plus one, this one. Okay, so that equals to pi over k, so to infinity, dq over q. So there are two new factor. So one is uh, this eta equal minus one, um, and the other is k eta equals one, and q squared plus k squared plus or minus two kq, you can group those in uh, square terms. So, so the first one is one over q minus k square plus one. The other is uh, q plus k square plus one. Okay. And now you can group these two terms together. And when you group the two terms, so you have a subtraction between this one and that one. And the subtraction will cancel the one. 
and cancel Q square and cancel K square all together, you have a two Q K minus minus two Q K will get four Q K. So Q and K cancel with this K and Q. So all together you have a four, four pi, right? So you have um, all together is just four pi. And the goodness uh, to infinity of dq. And the product of these two, now the product of these two, now you can write into um, into form that are uh, so that uh, uh, factorize, factorizing. So, uh, so what you have uh, is uh, when you factor that. So this this one square term plus one. So it has uh, zero as plus and minus i, right? So so q minus k plus i. Or Q minus K minus I, so you have Q minus K minus I, Q minus K plus I. Likewise, the other factor is Q plus K minus I, Q plus K plus I. Okay, so now you factor this this times that into here. Okay, and then and there. So altogether there are four simple poles. And actually, um, before we do that, we notice that uh, this function, when you multiply this to get the actually uh, uh, even function. It, Take a little bit of uh, lo uh, looking at the uh, integram to see that they are even because uh, you change q to minus q, uh, they actually uh, the same. So uh, so they are even function. Uh, I mean th this is odd. This there's another extra q here, so that become in the in uh, you. Change the port and cancel the Q. This times that is a is an even function because changing one to minus Q, a Q to minus Q, and this Q to minus Q just exchange the two terms. So it's an even function. So what you want is uh, change this to integrating from minus infinity to infinity and integrate uh, and divide by two. So that makes this two. Okay. And because now you have a uh, integrating along the real axis of the Q space, and the there are only there are four pole. One is this. If this is K, this is minus K. This is I. This is minus I. So there's four poles. One, two, three, four. So integrate along the real axis. So. Um, because uh, the integram goes to zero at large uh, k, so you can close the semicircle and only have a contribution from two residues, two poles. So, like if you close up from the upper side, so you have only contribution from this and that pole. Okay, and so each one will give you a two pi i times the residue of that one. So all you get all together, you have a two pi times two pi i. So we have two pi square i. And the first one, this is uh, this is k plus i. So q minus k minus i. So you can you have this is the pole. So multiply this factor and evaluate the rest at uh, q equals to k plus pi. Okay, 
So cube k plus i. So this one will have uh, the first pull contribution is the first factor give you two i. Uh, k plus i. The second factor give you two k. And the first one is uh, uh, Q is K plus I, so two times K plus I, all right? And the second one is K, Q plus K. This is a minus K plus I, so minus K plus I, so uh, it's Q, it's this factor, Q, Q equal minus K plus I with Q, this one, so you multiply this factor, so, and the rest evaluate Q equal minus K plus I, okay, minus K plus I will give this, the first factor is uh, minus 2K, it's a minus Q plus I, the second factor give you 2I, and then the first factor minus Q equals to minus K plus I, wait, Q equal minus K. Oh, this is minus two K plus I, this, this one, this one, K is minus, no, this, the second one is not this one. Second one is, the second one is a minus K plus I minus k plus I so minus two of the two of them so two of uh, minus k plus I and the last one is minus k plus give you two I okay so all together. So you have two, 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 so there's eight, you have four in the fact factors. So you have pi square for two, so the i factor, you have i, I cancel with pi, i cancel with i, and then you have a k outside. So it goes to pi square over two k. And the rest is so uh, one over k plus i plus one over um, there's a minus one minus i minus one k minus i k minus i so give them to group them together and add up at the together you have two k in the denominator so all together is pi square, and the product of this two is k squared plus one. So the final is this, we saw is pi square divided by k squared plus one. So that's uh, the integral, this integral, final we saw is this one. And that is uh, the required integral that uh, for the for the example and for you to get the eigenvalue of E out and show that, that the, the assumed form is the eigenfunction. Okay, so that's it for this one. And uh, that's all for this section also.